this is Gato Pedro Reviews, and today this is a review on the Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes from the Iron Man 3 Marvel Legends. I am your reviewer, El Perro. And I am Trevor. No, you're El Gato. Get your name straight. This is a figure from Walmart. I thought they were sold out, but they weren't. They were no longer in the pegs. I checked the back of Walmart shelves, and there he was, along with a, an extra Mark 42 figure. But they were down, scaled, and so and and it's called price because previously if you ever seen my Mark 42 Iron Man review you heard that it was 13 bucks he was reduced to 11.49 which I won't count cents so it's 11 dollars so that's a lot cheaper there were three other pairs I looked through all of them and some other had paint flaws this is the perfect one I could find and it is an awesome figure so with that said let's get to the review starting with a look at the packaging first you can see the Marvel Legends as I already mentioned saying there in the bottom Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel, James Rhodes by Hasbro. You can see the arm right there because we don't have any other pieces to complete it. Iron Man 3 at the top right there. Repulsor blasting towards you, Avengers Initiative or whatever. A black version of the War Machine which will be coming out soon and an Iron Patriot right there with hands that can actually come down and they're black. So, a bit different. So let's have a look at the packaging. Let's take a look, quick look at the figure. Uh, inspiring, completely inspiring, completely awesome. I didn't expect to get this figure, but it, it was cheap, it was awesome, it was there, and I bought it. So, let's take a quick look at the paint, which is like my, like one of the reasons I really wanted to get this figure. It is very shiny, very nicely, it's actually uh, the color of the plastic, so it's not going to get like any scrubs or anything. All around, great figure, really, really great. Very shiny, has a more like marvelized color that most of the Iron Man 3 figures had, and you know, Iron Patriot just fell, but the comic one. Anyway, so very nice. On the back, not as much paint as much as there's, there is on this section that holds up his mini machine gun on his shoulder, or whatever you want to call it. And on the sides, you can see like more of that red and silverish paint reflecting of the American flag. We go down, we can see the silver bits, and then just red, more red paint, silver, very accurate to the movie, very nice. I do like it more than a Marvel Select version. So, very nice and you can see little details such as obviously the lieutenant colonel james rhodes which if we can zoom in without getting all blurry yeah you can kind of see it ff something some kind of star logo right there kind of like an air force logo i guess so very nice also the sculpting um pretty awesome this is going to be remolded and what you see right here in the war machine colors when it comes out later and i don't know if it'll come still come with the piece or not or with the madrun or Trevor will come out with so you can see the paint on this is well, the white is silver but then the some people of arc reactor slash ice have come out really yellow as ours came out a bit more white which I like better I don't want mine to be all yellowish not that I hate the color but still I like it a lot better although the repulsor coloring is missing out on his palms but that's that's all right even though you can even get him to blast that well which I'm fine with it's fine the only um planning Paint, paint application I wish would, would have been added to was the little machine gun but it's like alright it's there alright so onto articulation his head is able to go down and up just a bit less than the mark 42 I don't know why but you can take it off if you please and then roll this back with the hinge and then put it here and then he'll still he'll look natural when he's looking up so get that mess out of there Ah. So it just takes a little bit of work to get it like that. His um shoulders are actually on hinges or his shoulder joints. No, not shoulder joints. Shoulder pads. It's unlike the Mark 42 who are more rubbery. But this one also, instead of hinging, it also feels like it's more rubbery at the tip. The, the arm ball joints are actually sculpted. And there's a bicep rotation, double jointed elbows. Very nice. Wrist rotation. They go up and down, but mostly in because he, cause of his um design of the... What is this called? A gauntlet, something like that, because of the glove design or the back of the hand. So you can only go forward. Come on, you got the, there you go. All right, so a torso cut at the top. You can go side to side, forward, and more really, really back. See, that would work great with the flying poses because they continue to sculpt and paint very nicely up there. All right, so down that much, and then his legs can go forward, yay high. I think it's a bit less than the Mark Forty Two ish. So that's that's the how you can reach on that thigh articulation. So great T joints, thigh articulation, double jointed knees. Come on, 
you can get it. It has the Mark VI kind of like knee pads things that, that that make it look a bit more good, I guess, in poses. And his ankles do not. Well, on this side it moves more up. I mean, more down only because I don't know why. But this one doesn't really go and doesn't really go side to side that much. So they're not completely worthless, but they're not the best. And it's shoulder cannon. Basically, it has you can't you could rotate it, but I don't know, kind of weird or stiff. You can't really move it. And then it just goes up and down, and you can rotate it side to side. So that's ridiculous in that. And it is supposed to go on this side, even though in the packaging it shows him using it on that side very nicely. But in the packaging, the other side, and it looks weird on the other side. And you can um, put um, peg it and put it on his right shoulder. So that was a quick look at the articulation. Nice, very nice. Does, does come with peg holes. So for size comparison, we're bringing the Mark 42 Iron Man, aka 20 Stark. So here is a size comparison. Does he, he seems? I think he's a little bit taller. How does he seem? Same size. Yeah, I think I think Iron Patriot is taller personally. And here's the comic book series Iron Patriot, who also part of the Iron Man 3 Marvel Legends wave. And he's... I can't tell. I think, yeah, he's also taller than him. And this is a direct sculpt repaint of the extremist Iron Man. So, final thoughts on this figure. Awesome. I don't know why you shouldn't get it, unless you want to wait for the Iron Patriot colors. Which are also very War nice. War Machine colors. War Machine, sorry. See? Alright, sorry. So the Iron Patriot colors, I mean, ah, War Machine colors, which was I was originally going to wait for, but I thought this was cheap. I thought it would eventually go up in price when the new War Machine came out. So I thought I might as well get this one already since there was only like three of them. And he seemed like suitable to have. So this has been a review, and uh, I would give this guy a perfect uh, 8 out of 10. Perfect. You? 7.5. 7.5. So pretty awesome. Uh, I think you should get it. If you're going to have a Mark 42, I think they go great together. Pretty cool figure. I guess you will one day see some um some stop motion with Iron Man or something like that. Any comments you want to leave down below, feel free. Any suggestions is okay. And this has been Gato Perro, and we're signing off. Whoosh.